So Ferg, obviously another emphatic win again, judging after going behind in the first half. How much resilience does that show of the squad after tonight's performance? Um, very good, very good to see. Um, the weather the night was ridiculous, so warm. To be fair, despite the game, it was the first 10 15 minutes you could see there was lads blown straight away, but pitches rock hard, bone dry, um, and it was a bit, bit scrappy the first 10 15 minutes. Um, I don't want to take, I don't know what time they scored, but just soft free kick edge of the box, and it's the pitch that hard is bounced over our keeper um, as he went down. So, disappointed to go one behind because we had a couple of half chances before that, but um. From them, we've had one up disallowed. Uh, then we scored a really good goal, really good goal, um, which we'll work on quite a bit. Um, but so proud of the lads with like in terms of character the night um, and desire to not to not want to lose. So obviously, like I say, second half came out a fast start with Gilbert's goal, and then all of a sudden it seemed to it seemed to turn on the style after that. So, well, what sort of things were said going into the the break after after? The one all at half time. There wasn't much to say to be fair, because we're all right, we just asked the boys to be a bit more controlled uh, and composed in possession. because um, it was a bit like hot potato the first half for both teams. And that's probably not something to do with the conditions we're playing in the pitch. But second half we started like a house on fire and we scored I think within maybe 30, 40 seconds just by being high up the pitch and being aggressive. And we scored early on then that set the tempo then. Well, from then on, we well, very good, very good for 20, 25 minutes. And yes, we scored two penalties. Got two penalties. We scored them both. Both great finishes by Chrissy. But um, the two lads were great winning the penalties for just sheer hunger and winning penalties that were just lost causes. Um, it just shows the sheer hunger and attitude in the boys. Um, and from then on, we've we've managed the game. Um, and they had a real goal the last 10 minutes, which we, we expected. And Dan O'Reilly's got the ball and went on a, went on a run and scored a great finish. Scored, took on about two or three and scored a great finish. And that's that's killed it. They, they scored later on. I think the last kick of the game they scored header, but from maybe minute 45 till to 94, the boys are fantastic in terms of attitude and application tonight. Obviously, with with so many new players coming into the squad, and with with two such two brilliant wins. What does that just say about each individual player as well as them as a team obviously now starting to gel as you can see in the second half? So what does that say about them as individuals? Like I said at pre-season we had a chat about what I, what I want and demand and what kind of players I want. want good characters, good, good people here who want to work hard and not just for themselves, for, for, the, for the group and for the club. It's never about the one person, it's all about, always about the group. Um, so just. That's, that's the kind of player we want, the kind of person we want. And if you've got 80, 19, 20 of them in your squad, uh, hopefully we'll, we'll do all right. Um, brilliant start for us. Brilliant start against two good sides. Um, got maximum points. But we're going to keep going. Uh, we'll take the game at a time. Um, so we'll roll on, dust ourselves down and go again. Go again Saturday, then we've got Tuesday. So it's, been a, it's going to be a heavy week for us. But we'll go again Saturday. Thanks, man.